Patrick Cook here. Welcome to session number 28 of our Mastering Mandelbald 3D Formulas. Uh, in the last session, I was showing you uh, a combination of, of uh, the integer power and the A Tetris VS in DE Combinate mode. And we can see here that we have kind of an anding where we've got these two different Mandelbulb objects that are, are, are kind of embedded with one another, okay? Now, all right, now we can have up to six of these formula slots assigned. So you can imagine how crazy this whole Mandelbulb thing can get when we have a kind of a, a, a volumetric Boolean combination of all of this, uh, of up to six of these formulas. We're only looking at two right now. So we can get a little interesting, okay? Now, all right, let's do this. Uh, I want to talk about some stuff down in here, but I want to kind of get you, get you so that you better understand all of this DE combinate. Let's try, let, let's, let's, let's call up some diffs. All right, let's, I'm going to reset, recalculate. All right, I'm going to get back into DE combinate mode. Okay, I'm going to call up a couple diffs. I'll, I'm, I'm going to keep this nice and simple so that we can, we can see the DE combinate work and we can understand it. Uh, let's try box IFS in formula slot number one. Let's try, we don't want to be over here. These are diff transforms. All right, we want to be over here. Um, let's, uh, uh, okay, what did we do? We did box, uh, let's see if we can find, um, find a shape that we can kind of really see what's happening here. Let's try, I don't know. I don't know, let's, uh, columns, let's try columns. Calculate that, okay. All right, let's, uh, let's move this whole picture over so we see what we're doing. Whoa, calculate that. All right, so we have box and columns. Okay, good. This might actually be sufficient. Yeah, okay. All right, you know what I'm going to do? Uh, I'm going to pull up my navigator here. You can't see it. That's okay. And I just want to get my perspective changed. Here we go. This might work. Okay, let me put that back into main, recalculate it. All right, good. Is that better? All right. So what I've got here is I've got two formulas running in DE Combinate mode. And uh, formula number one is the box IFS. Formula number two is the columns IFS. Now, they're mixed together. All right, they're blended together. In, in terms of Boolean logic, they are combined, they're anded together, anded, okay? Now, it turns out that this stuff right down in here is quite important, all right? This will change the Boolean combination behavior. Min basically says that these multiple objects, these multiple, in this case, diff objects, and they can be escape time objects too, will be anded together. All right, if I, if I was to change that to max and run it, let's see what happens. All right, now the max basically says that only display where the two objects actually unite. All right, uh, here's inverted max. 
only where the two objects unite but inverted. All right, here's, uh, okay, now this uh, min, lin, and min, nl, they're kind of a, kind of a, kind of a, a slightly different um, approach internally. They don't really, they don't really, they're not, they don't really, I don't see any, any, there's no creative value in it, so I'm just going to skip it. All right, but it's essentially the same as the min with a slightly different uh uh, processing. Let's go to mix. <clears throat> now, the mix says that only where the two objects actually intersected are you going to show. So, I've only got two formulas going on here. I mean, I can have up to six of these things. So, the min, all right, is going to show everything, whether they intersect or not. All right, it's just, it shows everything. All the objects are anded together. The max is where the objects are basically subtracted with from one another. Okay, you kind of think of that as kind of a not situation. All right, and the inverted ma max is just the opposite of max. All right, and it's going to show you where they're not mixed together. In other words, this cube right in here, this portion of the cube didn't mix with the column, so it's shown. Where it did mix with the column is this kind of slot right here. This is the column. So the column, has, the column fractal has been extracted or subtracted from the cube, essentially. Okay? And then, of course, you know, uh, let's just do the, the min lin uh, let's see, eh, it's, it's, it's the same as what well, min. So whatever's going on there doesn't really mean anything to us creatively. And then there's the mix, all right, where only where the two objects actually intersect is shown on the screen. So that's pretty crazy stuff, all right? So the key to understanding the DE combinate is this DE comb selection right down here. That's where you're going to get the maximum power from the DE Combinate. That's it right there. That's it right there. All right. Uh, let's, okay, let's uh, put it back to min. <clears throat> let's recalculate it. Good. All right, min is all the objects are combined whether they overlap one another or not. All right, let's get in here. Let's get crazy. Let's pick another diff. Citrus IFS. Let's try that. I got three formulas now. You see the citrus down in there? Can you see it right in there? That's the little citrus bugger right there. All right, that's min. Min is all the objects are shown, whether they combine or not. Let's do max. Uh, okay, now max is only where all of the objects interact with one another. And uh, mix, only showing where the objects have, uh, uh, have uh, all combined. Let's, uh, let's get over back over to min, calculate. Okay, I'm going to add another formula here. It's like another different, I don't know. I don't even know what this looks like. Let's try that. I just added a fourth formula. I don't even know where it is. Let's go to formula slot number five. Let's put another diffs in here. Knots IFS. Okay. Okay. It's down in there somewhere. Let's try, let's try the mix. Let's see if we can identify where, hmm, I don't know where the knots went. All right, well, let's uh, get in here. Gear IFS. All right, 
it's possible that the gear is sitting off to outside of our view. <clears throat> All right, I'll tell you what, let's clean up a little bit here. Let's end this session by combinate mode. Let's get into, let's get our, let's get our box back in. Let's get our, uh, let's get our citrus in. Run that. There's our citrus. See them over there? All right, let's move them over. So our citrus actually is not combining. I would need to come over here and modify a property to get that citrus to move over and start combining with the, uh, with the cube. So in this particular case, a mix... All right, yeah, okay, good. So that's where, that's where the mix occurred. And over here is the max. All right, yeah, okay. So in the max mode, there's no, uh, the two objects were not mixing together, so there's nothing to display. All right, but in the min, as you can see here, it's going to display all the objects, whether they interact or intersect with one another or not. The key to understanding DE Combinate is the DE Com control right here. That's where you're going to really extract the power of the DE Combinate. That's enough for this session. I hope this is making sense to you. Uh, we'll pick this up in the next session. I'll see you there.